What's going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We got ourselves a trailer for the Beetle that is blue. John, how are you? I am unbelievably excited. Oh, you're making me feel a boost of golden smiles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like. Are you going to watch this DC movie in the theaters? I hope you do. Jaime Reyes coming in at you. Let's see what's going on today. You finished scraping the gum off that lounger or what? Uh, <laughs> uh. Anything right now feels so out of place. You always land on your feet, bro. You're hyena. Court. This a court? I think so. They don't get out much. <laughs> Where's Ted? I just want to run. Jenny? I like the color scheme. But do not open it. You went in to get a shot. <laughs> Big belly uh, burger. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked. What the hell is that? It's Beetleborgs. How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. Whoa! He's on your back! Freaking George Lopez. Whoa! Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jeez. Make it horrific. Damn. That looks painful. What the? Oh, it's acquired. Uh, who said that? Scare of sight. Nice. It is face trail. That looks oh, great. Free entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. Sounds like Karen. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> touch with the hand of the water. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world-destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. DC in the buses. Ooh. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I, I like the Scarab side. Yeah, it's like... I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. <laughs> Whoa, Scared Matrix. You, but it belongs to me. And low you feel for your family. Makes you weak. I just want to wrap the tail. Awesome. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> Jeez, the action. The universe has sent you a gift. Families involved. You know what you're gonna do with it. That's right. One, two, three, four, three, five. Whatever you can imagine, <laughs> I can create. Let's do this. Great. Oh, I love the weaponry. Giant anime sword. I love the weaponry, yes. Sweet. Whoa. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to oh, damn. Excited to talk about it. Let's talk about it. I mean, yeah, look, like full disclosure, I mean, I'm not exactly like a blue beetle expert by any stretch and if you're wondering what koi genre is he's hosting some big panels at megacon right now the weekend of a bunch of trailers that are coming out i'm familiar with blue i've played the injustice games i've seen him in other animated medium crossovers i've read some comics where blue beetle does appear and i think you just watched a dc animated movie with koi that have, that have justice blue league versus mm -hmm. team titans he squares off with damian wayne so i loved seeing all the powers fully realized here from uh, i think the ter terminology is like technomorphy when it comes to the weaponry the manipulation abilities, the scare of sighting, the flight, obviously. A lot of this movie has this family vibe. I have three movies that came to mind when watching this. Let's see if they're the I same. I thought line. of Iron Man, Shazam, the first one, and Venom. <laughs> All exactly. three of those movies feel like they're they're at play here. Sure. And it's cool that Blue Beetle is getting this opportunity to shine because I believe that Jaime Reyes, he came into the fold around the New 52 era because he's like the third Blue Beetle. Yes. Like the mainly popular one before, prior to Jaime Reyes was Ted Cord, and I, I I need to rewind this. Did that say Cord on the building? Because I heard the rumor being that Susan Sarandon's character is K yeah, yeah, or D, yeah, yeah, yeah is go. is the sister of Ted Cord. Perhaps we'll get a Ted Cord cameo in here because Ted Cord was the Blue Beetle, then eventually it was Jaime Reyes. So yeah, I, I imagine that it'll somehow link to Ted Cord. Ultimately, we got Booster Gold, who's going to be having his own DC animated property in the DCU. So I feel like. Blue Beetle is here to stay around because Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, a big part of what boosted the popularity of Blue Beetle was the combination of the two of them. But how do you pronounce his name? 
Oh, uh, Shola Mara Duena. My God, I feel so bad for never getting it it's down. All good. I, I can't just always call him Miguel from Cobra Kai. You can. <laughs> you? The, the casting director was like, "Get me Miguel from Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. He's the perfect guy." He, to play he this. is the perfect guy to be playing this because yeah, it has like the family dynamics. The Scarab. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna go full out here with how much communication abilities the Scarab does have. You know, being able to have like full-on conversations with him, but I think there's, like, some humor to generate from there. I think it might be more along the lines of, like, Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, 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 totally. I'm curious to see how they play that because it didn't feel quite as much like a living alien entity in this portrayal as it does, like, an advanced AI that powers the suit. So I'm curious to see how the lore kind of uh, accounts for that. But, yeah, I mean, how much uh, intelligence does the suit actually have? What a, what availability? It seems like they can communicate pretty well. She's, like, obs- uh, uh, assessing his weapon choices and all that stuff doesn't seem like there'll be too much of a barrier there necessarily but even so i mean i think it would be fun to watch him have to learn the suit but especially for just like charming the world and giving everybody their a lot of people this is going to be the first they've heard of blue beetle as a character at all simplifying that a little bit is probably a good thing for the general audience and it's not like the main point but yeah like this just looks so much fun and those are the exact kind of movies that came to mind a little bit of upgrade too when he's actually going through like the first suit transformation which was Compared to Venom. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So you got Venom, you got it. This looks really fun and colorful and bouncy and, and something that I could see on a streaming scenario, but I'm glad that they boosted this to the theatrical because this, again, looks like something that can have that level of fun that they were looking for in something like a Shazam, but that also seems like it's got some potential to be like a semi, at least not like gritty gritty, but like a, a bit of an affecting coming of age story too because... Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah, and like the transformation, as I understand it, is supposed to be a bit painful, and it certainly looks like it is here. And so just like that relationship, I think, will be really fascinating to see. And two, with this being placed after Flash, like doing a little bit of reading on like the history of the character in general, like this wasn't even always a DC character, and Blue Beetle was co-opted into DC, I think, after like Crisis. Yeah, it was around the time of, I think, Peacemaker was part of the same company prior. I think this coming right after the Flash will actually kind of probably bode well for his inclusion. Uh, in the future and then having Damian Wayne in the mix as well I think it'll just make for some really fun potential Teen Titans stuff I love the way the weapons are realized that you said anime during the reaction and it does have that anime flair to sure, it sure yeah like it looks breathtaking it's, yeah it's beautiful to look at it's beautiful and, to behold yeah and that's the thing is like this could easily look like Big Bad Beetleborgs and it doesn't it looks like it has that fun and i like that they kept the heads up display as something that looks a little more cartoon and a little more of the natural world i guess it's a little more organic feeling and i think that's cool but like his just the suit and the look of the effects and everything is like top notch so i'm i don't know what kind of influx of money they got for this but it seems to certainly be paying off well i love the choice of the cinematography here because on a filmmaking level you do get this great color palette of a lot of purple and blue shades throughout this entire aesthetic. Yeah. And you got George Lopez. <laughs> you got George Lopez and you got the girl from Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> oh, and Big Belly Burger. That is a, a reoccurring restaurant within... I don't know if it's been in the... I think it was in the Arrowverse at one point. It's like a reoccurring fast food restaurant in, in the in the DC world. I feel like it's been in some of the animated stuff. I mean, yeah, it must have been. Uh, but yeah, to see it in live action, I think is really fun. Oh, sure. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I thought this trailer was a lot of fun, really exciting. I hope this movie is a hit because I like Blue Beetle to carry on into the DC universe, sure. especially to interact with the members and to play the new Booster Gold. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. Leave a like. What did you think about this trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe click that bell hey let's send this with a <laughs> ricardo martinez we've got ourselves a latin a superhero latino. and we got ourselves a latino to shout out yeah ricardo you sexy sexy beast you i would love for the scarab to attach itself to your body so that way you <laughs> could come fly over here and pay us a visit that would be the main thing. We would just want to take advantage of your powers and we can go traveling and stuff yeah. and I'd have you beat up my arch nemesis for me. Blind wave. They're in Ohio. <laughs> Fly us over to Ohio. Go get him. Go Sick get him. Get Eric. Yeah. No, yeah. Blind wave's great. Just bring him up <laughs> to space and just drop him. <laughs> no, man, it's great to be having you at our Patreon page. And I'm curious to know how you feel, man. We don't do we is, is there is this the first like Latin superhero? Latino? I keep saying Latin. Like Latino. F- front and center, I, I believe it is, or at least in a way where it's like 
you know, overtly part of the character's personality and yeah. identity. I mean, we've had, you know, the the Ghost Rider uh, uh, Robbie Reyes, but uh, yeah, you know, not in a full, you know, lead of a cinematic motion picture. Well, it's time to take that pride in, my friend, because you've earned it for being a super sexy reject for so long. Love you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day.